Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous Sporties and happy Wednesday night. Um, yes, I know I look kind of like crap because I've been to the gym and worked out and been sweaty and so yeah, I don't look my best, but I have a couple of new products that I wanted to try out and today on my lunch break, I was at Sally's, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and picked up a couple of products and my intention was that I was going to try them out for a couple of days and then jump on here Saturday to let you guys know what I thought of these products. But after trying these products out this evening, I thought, okay, no, I have to jump on here right now and talk about these products. And the products that I'm talking about are the spray, the spray on, the spray can nail polishes. And I picked up two different brands. So I picked up the um, original brand, well, I picked up the brand from um, Nails Inc., this guy right here and I believe Nails Inc. is the first brand that came out with these and I also picked up the Nails Inc. 2-in-1 base and top coat that they suggest that you use with this paint can nail polish. Um, I also picked up the one from China Glaze which I didn't even know China Glaze had come out with one but they did. They came out with this guy here and this guy is, this color is Purple Shimmer. By the way, this one is a hot pink one. The one from Nails Inc. is hot pink. It's called Hoxton Market and it's that hot pink color right there. And the China Glazed one is called Purple Shimmer. And I also picked up the um, China Glaze Strong Adhesion Base Coat and the China Glaze Fast Forward Top Coat. Okay, so these guys right here. Now, the Nails Ink ran me $11 and change, so it was almost $12 for the Nails Ink one, and then the 2-in-1 base and top coat was $5 and change. And the way that they suggest that you do this is they suggest that you apply a coat of the base coat, let it dry, then spray the uh, nail polish, let it dry, and then apply a top coat, let it dry, then you're supposed to go rinse your hands under warm water, wash your hands, and all that nail polish that's around your fingers is supposed to come right off. Alright, so like I said, the Nails Ink one was $11 and change, so almost $12 and $5.95 for the 2-in-1 base and top coat. The China Glaze was $8 and change, and you do have to get, well, I don't want to say you have to get, because just a base and top coat or a two-in-one would probably work, but they suggest that you get their base coat, which is the strong adhesion base coat, and their um, top coat, which is the fast forward top coat. So China Glaze suggests you get these two products, whereas Nails Inc. suggests you just get their one Nails Inc. two-in-one. So at Sally's right now, Sally's Beauty Supply, I don't know how many of you guys have Sally's in your area, but at Sally's Beauty Supply, if you buy two China Glaze products, you get one free. So when I bought the um, uh, paint can spray and I bought the base coat, which was like $6 and change, I got the top coat for free. So it really wasn't that expensive to do. Now my intention was to do the Nails Ink on one hand and the China Glaze on the other hand and I was going to compare the two to see which brand I actually liked better. And my intention on top of that was was to wear it for a few days even though they're two different colors, I've got pink and purple. I was going to wear one on one hand and one on the other for a few days and then Saturday I was going to jump on here and tell you guys what my thoughts were on these polishes and how they wore. However, like I said earlier, because of the way that these polishes applied, I felt like I needed to get on here right now. Let me bring you into the demo of applying these polishes. Okay, so forgive my nails. Right now they're looking pretty atrocious, but I'm going to apply the Nails Ink brand on the right hand, and I'm going to apply the China Glaze brand on the left hand. Now the Nails Ink brand, I'm also applying it with the Nails Ink 2-in-1 top coat and base coat. Okay, this is the suggested top coat and base coat that Nails Inc. says that it works best with. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And like I said, I'm going to do this on my right hand with the Nails Inc. This is very, very hard to do. 
on camera. I'm trying to make sure that when I'm painting that my hand doesn't get in the way so you guys can see, but I have a feeling my hand is getting in the way anyway. Okay, so while that base coat is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the other hand with the China Glaze. Now, the China Glaze has a separate top coat and base coat. It's not a two-in-one like the Nails Ink one is. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Strong Adhesion Base Coat from China Glaze, and I'm going to apply that. Is that upside down? And I'm going to apply that on the left hand. I don't know, maybe it's that way. I'm not sure. I can't tell. My camera, like I said, is pointed down, so I can't tell <laughs> if it's upside down or not. All right, so on the left hand, here goes the China Glaze Strong Adhesion Base Coat. And like I said, right now my nails are pretty atrocious. I'm trying to let them grow out after having gel nails on them for so long. And my nails have become very brittle and they peel a lot now, so it's really hard to grow them out. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for just a couple of minutes. And once that's dry, I'm going to go in with the Nails Ink paint can. And I'll do my right hand. And then on the left hand, I'm going to use the China Glaze Nail Spray. Okay, so I have let these dry for about three to five minutes, and now I'm going to go ahead and do my right hand with the Nails Ink paint can, this guy right here. And again, that might be upside down. Let me do it that way, <laughs> I guess. Um, and the color I have in this one is called, I guess it's called Hoxton Market. Hoxton Market. It's a very, very hot pink color, and that's the one that I'm going to use on my right hand. So you guys can hear it as I'm shaking it up. It's got that little paint can ball in it. All right, and here we go. Wish me luck. Whoops, I missed. Alright guys, I've got to be honest, I really feel like this is um, a little bit wrong. <laughs> what I mean by that is um, when you typically apply polish, you are trying so hard when you're brushing it on, you're trying so hard not to get it all over the place. And here, you're just supposed to get it all over the place. <laughs> right now, I'm not really liking the way it's looking. Um, yeah, it's not looking so well, but let me go ahead and do the China Glaze one now on the other hand. And the color in the China Glaze one, this is the China Glaze one right here. The color in the China Glaze one, this one is called Purple Shimmer. And here we go with the Purple Shimmer. I guess I should probably take my ring off, huh? Okay, so the China Glaze one smells really freaking good. It kind of reminds me of men's cologne. <laughs> it smells amazing. Wow, I could just sit there and sniff the nail polish. All right, so the purple shimmer, the China Glaze one, actually I feel applied a little bit better than the pink one. Um, I'm going to let this dry for just a minute, so I will be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so it has been a few minutes, and I want to go ahead and apply my top coat now, and my fingers feel 
really crunchy. Actually on the pink side, on the nails ink side, my fingers feel really crunchy. And I really don't like the way the polish applied on the nails ink side. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my top coat and um, then I'll wash my hands and we'll see from there. Okay, so we're going to start with the nails ink polish, the nails ink top coat, and I will apply. Okay, and now I'm going to apply the China Glaze Top Coat, and this one is called the Fast Forward Top Coat. It looks like this. Okay, so now I've got the top coats applied on both hands. I'm going to let these dry and wash my hands, and I will be back to show you guys the results. Okay, guys, I had to jump on here really quick because the nails ink side, I went in to try to wash my hands, and I used warm, soapy water. And as you can tell, the nails ink side, all the stuff didn't come off. I'm going to have to do some more scrubbing on it. But the China Glaze side when I, mean, I didn't even have to scrub I just dunked my hands under the faucet and the stuff came right off I didn't have to scrub I didn't have to use soap nothing just the warm water dunking it in the warm water just took the polish right off I was just amazed with that so I'm gonna go back and do a little bit more scrubbing so I'll be back in a minute okay guys so this is the finished product here this is the um, nails ink side this is the china glaze side the Nails ink side, I couldn't get all of the polish off of my fingers even after scrubbing. The China Glaze side, all it took was just a dunk under the running faucet and the polish just came right off my fingers. It was freaking amazing. I'm going to zoom you guys in here so you can actually look at the difference between the two. And I've got to tell you guys, and I don't like cussing on my channel, but this Nails ink side looks like shit. So let me zoom you in here. Let's see if you guys can see. Do you see how chunky that looks? And my nails aren't great to begin with, but do you see how chunky and just how streaky and just nasty that looks? I mean, it's just, it's horrible. Look at that. And then here's the China Glaze side. And I do have ridges in my nails, but the China Glaze side just looks so much better. I mean, it's just night and day difference. I mean, look at that. I got a little bit of pink on it right there, but seriously, night and day difference. I mean, it's just wow. Let me zoom back out. So, yeah, I mean, that's just, oh, MG. Huge difference. Huge difference. So, and then the, the nails ink side doesn't even look shiny even after doing the top coat, whereas the china glaze side has a nice shine going on it and it looks really nice. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to, like, thumbs down this, this nails ink one. It just does not look good at all. Okay, so as you guys saw, the nails ink was horrendous. It was just horrible. The China Glaze actually came out pretty decently. And let me show you guys here. I don't know if you guys can actually see really, really well, but this one is the China Glaze. This one, or I'm sorry, this one is the Nails Ink. This one is the China Glaze. Now, if you take a look at the Nails Ink, let me get it really close here. Do you see how blotchy and like choppy and chunky and just gross looking it is? And the China Glaze one actually came out really 
pretty nice. I was actually pretty impressed with the China glaze. And one of the main things that I was really impressed with, other than, you know, the Nails Ink one looks like crap and I'm going to take it off, the China glaze one are actually, when I went to go wash my hands, and I, you guys saw in the, in the demo, when I went to go wash my hands and I came back, you guys saw that the Nails Ink one, the polish was still all over my fingers. And it's been a couple of hours now, and the polish is still all over my fingers. I could never get all of the polish completely off. Whereas the China Glaze one, I didn't even have to scrub. The China Glaze one, I just put my hands under the warm water and it just came right off my skin. There is not a trace of it left anywhere on my skin. So guys, I have got to tell you that in my opinion, and that's not even, I'm not even worried about the wear time at this point. I mean, honestly, because the Nails Ink one is just so horrendous, I am never gonna wear it anyway. The China Glaze one, I really did like. So I'm going to, I'm going to end up taking the Nails Ink one off and putting the China Glaze on this hand. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, not even knowing the wear time of this polish, the China Glaze with the China Glaze base and top coat is the way to go because it looks really, really, really good. So if you guys are in the market or wanting to try out some of these spray can nail polishes, these spray paint nail polishes, um, in my opinion, don't waste your money on the Nails Inc. I know they were the first company to come out with this, the nail polish in a can concept, but don't waste your money on this one. If you can find the China Glaze, which they carry at Sally's Beauty Supply, and I'm sure you can probably get it online also, if you can find the China Glazed Nail Spray, go with this one because this one applied nicely and it came right off in the water with no scrubbing, no, no fuss, no muss with it. This one was really, really good, and I feel that this one is worth the money, way more so than this one. I would not even pay a dollar for this one if if I knew exactly how it applied and I saw it in the Dollar Tree, I wouldn't buy this one because it's it's that horrendous to me. All right, guys, well, that's my thoughts, my opinions on these two spray paint nail polishes. Um, if any of you guys, do you hear my dog scratching back there? <laughs> If any of you guys have had a better experience with the Nails Ink one than I did, please leave comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Maybe I didn't do it right. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really do like the China Glaze better. So guys, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. And if it was, go ahead and leave a comment down below or give it a big thumbs up. Also guys, you can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can also look me up on Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, all under, oh, and Twitter, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. Also, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere, and you too can rock your fabulous 40s, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.